What do you think is the most active spot in your house? The hallway. The hallway? Yeah. All of a sudden, but I couldn't talk. So girls, let me ask you this. Does any of this stuff scare you? Yes. yes. Hey everybody, this is AWP. I'm Paul, this is Daniel and April. And we are at Oklahoma City at a private residence investigation. And as you'll see later, um, there are children involved. So we're gonna take this one very serious tonight. But before we get going, go ahead and hit that like button. Go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We would really appreciate it. You can go follow us on Facebook. Oh, yeah. and uh, X as well at Paranormal Green and we appreciate any support you give to us. <clears throat> so this is the house of Jessica and her two daughters Jersey and what does the other one say? Journey. Journey. Jersey and Journey and there have been that they have heard a child's voice saying help me and then laughing. Mm -hmm. um, the kids, uh, what else have the kids heard? Bumping in the closet. Bumping in the closet. Yeah, knocking. knocking. And then the mom, Jessica, she uh, was in bed one night and felt like somebody had gotten into bed with her. Felt the moving around, even saw two dark arms. And she then began, became somewhat paralyzed. Couldn't move for a little while, 20, 30 seconds. I don't really know how long. Um, and then when she was able to, she turned, there was nobody there. Um, so we're gonna investigate that. There could also possibly be a, uh, Jessica's father or grandfather, right? Flint, Flint, that was her dad, okay. Um, so we have a lot to go on. Due to the sensitive nature of this private residence investigation, we will not be showing the entirety of the interview with the family. Okay, so what kind of things do you um, hear happen in the hallway? Okay, so once I was in my room and I heard a little girl like laugh. And it was freaking me out. However, if you would like to view the entire interview, you can join our Facebook subscription service for exclusive content. All you have to do is go to Facebook at After Walker Paranormal and click subscribe. The girl fell asleep in here. And 
uh, I felt someone crawl in bed with me. I thought, you know, hey, it's one of the girls. And all of a sudden, I see like dark hands, and I thought it was the girls. And I'm like, you're, I, I tried to say, you're not slick, you're not getting my phone, but I couldn't talk for like probably a few seconds. So, are you girls afraid to sleep in your own rooms? Yeah, yeah we both sleep in her room. Yeah. You sleep in your mama's room? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, in my bedroom, like, when I, like, hang out in there, I feel like, like, I, like, something's watching me, watching me, watching me. Watching me. The night had just gotten started. We had barely gotten our cameras rolling when we captured this mist in the hallway. Watch it as it forms a tight rope and then dissipates as it shoots off to camera right. Come on. There we go. Let's watch that again in slow motion. So this mist anomaly as we're going to see here, what does it do there? It drops down real slow. It, 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 spirals. it spirals and thickens. It, it creates a tight rope. And then it dissipates. And it's this time so quick. So fast. So fast. So we didn't even recognize it. So let's watch it again. Man, what an interesting way to start the night. And the night was just getting started. So, I just want to say that walking around this house, there's there's something off, for sure. Mm -hmm. There's something off. Do um, you agree with that, April? Mm -hmm. There's definitely something off here. So, right now we're going to walk around and. April's going to be looking for any K2 hotspots while Daniel's taking uh, UV pictures, so I'm going to follow you guys. Okay. Well, I'm just going to start with this room and kind of circle around it because, you know, we've got TV and aquarium and right. just kind of see if we get... Spirit, can you make that turn all the way red? If there's anybody here with us right now, can you make that turn yellow? I'm, I'm gonna move over it. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> I'm just moving to see if it goes. Kitty. Yeah, there are like four cats here. It's hot right there. It is kind of warm. This yeah. is a Wi-Fi router. I mean, you can see Wi-Fi router. Let's make my thing, the fingers tingle. Feel what? Put your hand where my hand is. Okay, so I'm I moved away from the Wi-Fi router. Bring, bring that K2 over here. Yeah. But put, put it underneath my hand. Oh. Go back over there. 
at Wi-Fi router. No, go back up a foot, right? And turn toward it to face turn towards the wall. Okay, whatever that was, it, it has moved. So you're not getting anything off the Wi-Fi router? Oh, no, no. Whenever I get close to the Wi-Fi router, like, <clears throat> I'm three feet away. Right. And then as I get, see? Okay. It, it, it that, that Wi-Fi router, so we know, like, this area it back is definitely, here. So what, what we're catching over here could possibly be Wi-Fi waves. M maybe, because, I mean, like, like. More than likely, it's Wi-Fi waves. Cause see how. Yeah. Yeah. I, come, come back this way over towards this picture again. Where we were getting hit earlier. An outlet down here, but it's not. I mean, like really setting it off, so. No, I, I don't think we were picking up Wi-Fi waves over here because it's mm, may not. not doing that again. But yeah, that corner, very, very hot. Good gravy. Psycho cat. Psycho kitty. Break it down now. Where to get in the right spot of wood. Oh, I'm sure. Usually on the side, yeah. Yeah. That's pretty, that's common. The most common. right now. I wonder if it's because of that box. See that that this box is very I and I don't know what that box is. You want to turn the light on? Oh, it's another Wi Fi box. Oh that's Wi Fi okay. Okay, so we've got a lot A lot of Wi-Fi coming through. <laughs> cutie, cutie. I mean, 
most of it's pretty. I'm going to attempt to go around the bed here. Mainly that's Wi-Fi boxes, so we'll avoid those. <laughs> <laughs> uh. So we're just sitting here right now. We do have some devices set up. Some pet balls, some EMF meters. Whoop, that EMF meter just went off. K2. Um, rim pod in the center. We're just going to sit here for a little bit. Listen. this right now if you speak loud enough I have a device here that can hear you can you tell us your name is your name Flint Flint, will you light that up again? If your name is not Flint, can you light that up? Alright, so... I, I 
probably just did that, but I don't know because I had set some stuff down on here earlier and here I am tapping and it's not setting that off. I'm going to stop. Yeah, stop. Yeah, he just, he's stomping hey, and it's you're not. you're rolling. Yeah, that thing's rolling and it's not going off. All right, so we're going to listen to this. Gonna be a challenge. So, Spirit, my name is Paul. This is Daniel. And this is uh, April. Okay. Is your name Flint? You just said grandfather. He is the grandfather to these girls. So, at any rate, Spirit, we are here to communicate with you. Do not be afraid of us unless you're bad you have nothing to fear from us but there does seem to be some things going on in this house that don't sound so good uh let's watch that again but there does seem to be some things going on in this house that don't sound so good let's try that again in slow motion So we just saw this video of the flash of the corner. We saw it in slow motion. And now we're looking at this picture of whatever this is in this corner. And to me, it happened so quick and there weren't any other particles in the air. There were no bugs in the air. Daniel, what do you what do you make of this? I, man, it happened so fast. It, it reminds me of a cigarette burn on an old uh, film reel. Uh, they they would use those as you know a marker to change the reel as you're watching the film. Uh, but I mean, it was only on one frame, right? Yeah, that's just one frame out of. 30, 30 frames per second. 30 frames per second. It's, in, it's on one frame. So that's very, very quick. And, uh, you know, I'm shocked and found it. For 
one thing, but the fact that it's there, man, I, I can't explain what's going on. This is definitely an anomaly. Well, of course it is, and as we'll see later, we have some other pictures to show like it. But now that we're talking about that, we have other pictures. The one picture that we showed earlier in this episode of the kitchen, um, you'll see this. You'll see this black nodule sticking out on the right side. And then in the next shot that Daniel takes, you'll see the nodule has grown. And then these two pink spots, marks. Almost electric. It could possibly be um, ectoplasmic recoil, if you will, being caught by the UV light. Uh, that's the only other thing I could think. In the next frame, we'll see a more of a manifestation. And you'll see this whole second half of the side here is covered in a black mass. Now those are three consecutive photos that you took. Yeah. And there was nobody standing on that side of me whenever I took those pictures. Uh, there was nobody standing in that doorway that's to the right there. Uh, it, I can't explain. Well, in all reality, as you see this video, this photo in uh, during the course of this episode, uh, that's not actually when this photo was taken. This photo was taken a little later uh, when Daniel went back through and took some other photos as well. Um, so, with all that we've seen in just in this episode, we've got the mist. We've got the corner light anomaly. We've got this anomaly featured it. There was a lot of stuff that went on. Oh, absolutely. And in just the first few hours, how crazy it was. But we're going to end it here. Stay tuned for part two next week. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Subscribe to our uh, Facebook as well at After Walker Paranormal. And you can find us on X at Paranormal Green. And we'll see you next week. All right. Keep it creepy. Keep it creepy.